Hello, hello, welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and here we are starting on a brand new journal monthly. So we're into June, <clears throat> and we're starting the sixth one of the year, goodness me. Now there is no um, kit to go with this one on the Kofi page, because this one is all about using up what you've got I mean I don't know about you but I've got paper dolls that I hardly ever use I've got these word cards that I never use I've got these postcards I've got CD envelopes and I've got all of these papers from kits and books and so it's time to start using up this stuff so this month's book is going to be um, a reminder really a reminder of styles that we've used before and just you know remembering what we've got and using it up now I have got here a pile of fabric as you can see but I know not everybody has fabric and some of you will want to work with paper. So if you'd rather work with paper, I've got a little diagram here of how you can do it. And I'll show that to you in a minute. Um, I'm guessing this is mainly inspired by 49 Dragonflies, Joanne Clough. And indeed, this tag book that we made some time ago, it may even have been right at the beginning of the journal monthlies last year, where we had openers and flops and flips. Those of you that didn't see the making of this, and then it came back. So yeah, I'm just working sort of on that style again. It's a little bit shabby, a little bit grungy, etc, etc. So, if you want to work with paper, what I have worked out is that you will need Sorry, let's open it all out completely because obviously it doesn't quite go on camera, does it? Okay. You're going to need one, two, three, four A4 pieces. And then what I've done is I have torn them in half. And as you can see, I've glued them together. Uh, well, I've just put tape. Uh, oh masking tape i've put masking tape on them so what you've basically got there you go is you've got your front cover your back cover you've got the front and back cover okay you've then got this page that folds in you've got this page that folds up you've got this page that folds in this page that folds down and then they all fold over and back together so that you can open it any which way you like so you glue that down you glue that down and then obviously you can go up and up oops, again and out and so on yeah so if you want to work with paper, it is totally, totally possible to do that. But I'm not. I'm working in fabric. So if you've got some old fabrics and you can see these are coffee and tea and rust stained. They are weird and wonderful shapes. They're all slightly different. We're back with Hubby's old pyjamas. This is an old serviette like a restaurant type serviette and this is some of that dust cloth so i'm going to start by working out my pages so that is really 
a perfect size okay so that's going to be as it were one double page and I know you've seen me do this before this is going to be a small page and this will be a full page this I will cut down because I don't want to go bigger than the white so I'm just going to trim that there and pull that off I'm thinking probably five or six adding this blue one again I'm going to take a little bit in fact let's take quite a big bit off that one make that a smaller page again okay and then this one I'm gonna trim about there so as you can see I'm not measuring anything I'm doing very very random sizes and shapes now if I make that into a book and you're like Claire but that doesn't look like the paper you just showed us well no but hang on so I've got one and a half so it's one two three four there's my five pages for the bottom of my book but then <clears throat> I need the flap to come down so that is gonna be my first top layer okay and then if I cut a piece off here that's about that big again no measurements I'm just going with what feels right I can attach that onto there and that will be a flip yeah so we've got one flip there and then this odd shape one if I try and get it sort of squared off a bit and pull down here and then I want it probably about that tall that can be a flip that side yeah now if that's going to fold there yep yeah, that's still on my fold line so that's going to be fine and then maybe what have I got left in my fabrics um, here this one needs squaring off again look at this um, let's go here and this could be a drop down so I come across there and then maybe there so that when this one is out this one can drop down from there so that is going to go on there okay and maybe we don't want a drop down or up on that side maybe now we want to go back and looking look at adding them here so if I straighten this up this was an old tablecloth um, a Battenberg tablecloth and I cut all the lacy bits around the edge off that's why it's these funny shapes so then we can have a drop down from that one there can you see that not quite so let's come up a little bit more so this one might drop down there and then if we come one two three pages in we might have some of this builders cloth so I'm just making my base obviously okay so we could have maybe a flip out from there so we'll cut across there so that one's gonna be there so that'll be our flip from there 
and then maybe that blue bit that we cut off could be a drop down from there so that also needs to be sewn there but we could sew it in a little bit yeah um, so I think what we need to do is we need to look at starting to get all these connected so it starts to make a little bit more sense I've still got some spare fabrics so I'm going to put them up there for a minute I'm going to break into my threads box because I'm actually going to do this by hand. You could put it on the sewing machine um, and obviously that would make it go a lot quicker. I'm just trying to decide on what colours I want to go. Do I want to do it in good old fashioned black that will then tie in with everything? Yes, I think I do. So... I'm going to thread up my needle and I'm going to make a point of doing very rough random slow stitch here so again if you wanted to do paper um, you would start with A4 tear it in half or even in quarters start with your covers and just build out in exactly the same way as I am if you've got fabric and you want to join me on the fabric route then that's fabulous too so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on these base ones and I'm going to start by stitching them all together. So I'm going to fold it roughly in half there. And I'm just going to start here in the middle. That has now been decided to be the middle point. Did I tie a knot? Yes, I did. Okay. And I'm just literally going to do some quite big running stitches just to make sure this is all joined together. And you can see they're not even straight. That's my running stitches and you can see it comes through the back and now I'm just gonna come back up and sort of close up the holes in the running stitch very roughly not 100% accurate it is a junk journal after all. Make sure we've got a knot. Pull that all the way through and then just stretch it back out. Okay. And then back up. And then when I get to the middle, I'm just going to ignore the middle and go all the way up to the top. Just carry on going. Make sure we haven't got a knot there. There we go. And just pull that through, carry on all the way to the end it's quite thick obviously there is a number of layers of fabric but 
it's not too too hard and just pull that all the way through and then I'm going to do what I did at the bottom and I'm just going to come over and basically close up the holes that are in this <coughs> running stitch whoops like so so now we've got all of our pieces joined together and sewn down the middle to give us a spine type area and then I'm going to stop there and leave just that one little hole because I'm just going to feed my needle through that stitch like so okay and then up through that last stitch under them both tie a knot and then give myself a little string to match the other one just like that so now we've got as I say it's not straight doesn't matter there's the front and they're all joint and there's our little half page yep they're all joint and we've got lovely pages wonky and otherwise okay so now this one was going to drop down wasn't it so no it wasn't it was going to flap out so I'm going to stitch this one to this one and this is where obviously if you were working in paper what you would do is I think we might need a pin in there actually if you were working in paper you would just put some masking tape or a hinge on there then I'm just going to again do quite a big stitch like so it's not about being delicate and ordered this is grungy deliberately so and obviously if you're working in paper um, your pages will be much squarer than this fabric and they'll fold out in a line whereas my fabric ones I'll show you in a second they're gonna sort of flop out rather than fold out then I'm just gonna do a little stitch there run my thread around pull it through and then snip it off I'm not worried about neatening the edges or anything you see that will just fold in like that so this is going to be a, a flop out page and then we've got this one haven't we that was going to be in the middle of that page and that's going to fold up so again I'm just going to join it to it so How are you all? What have you all been up to? Weather's coming round now, isn't it? And we're all getting out and about, which is lovely. There we go, through there. Doesn't take long, really. There's a knot there. 
pull that one off and you'll see that I'm you know leaving quite long ends so this one will fold up this one will fold in and there I've got my flips and flaps for there now where did this one go I think it was on the blue wasn't it well it's going on the blue now so this one um, we'll do it this way we'll have a, a flop out yes we'll have a flop out here so the I fold all my fabrics underneath that's one of the beauties of working with fabric rather than paper you fold paper it's there yeah, for life isn't it really and then ow don't stab yourself Claire okay I mean I'm doing running stitches you don't have to um, you could do cross stitch or a much neater style of stitching than I'm doing if that's what takes your fancy I want it rough and ready rough and ready and grungy and fun to handle so yeah if you're crafting along this month you need to have a good old rummage through your craft room pull out what you haven't used for a while um, or what you've got an excess of and just see how you can pull it all together to make this month's signature or journal whatever they have turned into more journals than signatures really haven't they but i don't think that matters we'd have a journal a month couldn't we okay we need some new thread aren't we so <clears throat> we know this white is our cover don't we and look how we've ended up with the line because of where we made the additions so that one will fold in there okay so we've got the one flip out and the flip down towards the back and at the front we've got this one flip out okay so now what I want to do is I want to look at joining the flip down this one so we're gonna fold down all the tall ones so that we are just left with that white yeah so I probably should have joined this up first shouldn't I never mind there you go so make sure you don't stitch your pages you're only stitching this in my case a white cover so now I'm gonna run all the way down there okay so we get a new bit of thread thread up this needle that's boo you can hear snoring we went shopping the other day hubby and I and um, he bought her because we were in um, sport shop he wanted new trainers and um, he bought her giant tennis ball it's bigger than most footballs but she has loved it and she has turned into like a spring chicken playing football with herself charging around the room it's quite hysterical to watch but she loves it so it's all good right we get a knot in here now i was going to start here but I've got a knot there so I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to start this side where there is no sign of any knot or anything and you can see it's too long and hanging over doesn't bother me at all that's sort of what I want so 
we're going up and down again with these giant running stitches if you wanted to you could do double lines of stitching you don't need to just do singles you could do lots of crosses along it lots of kisses all the way along whatever makes you happy or obviously I mean you can stitch paper so you could use paper and still stitch or if you're using paper and tape then as I say you can just run your masking tape down your seams and get it set right got to lift that one up now because I want to make sure I don't stitch any of the pages to the cover other than the way I did in the center for like the signature area we need to lean that forward a bit and then come round the other side okay and then again I'm gonna flick all these out of the way and now just carry on down here and as you can see my stitches are all different sizes it's all very very random okay I am expecting a delivery so I'm hoping we don't get a huge bang 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 that sets the dog off and makes us all jump okay If you are working in fabric you can use any fabrics you like for this I can't think of any fabric that wouldn't work old bed sheets old clothes odd little scraps whatever you've got whoops so nearly stitch that page in there we go we'll trim that off okay <coughs> So now we have got our pages and so when it closes it's going to close like that. Now I don't mind this but if that bothered you you could obviously trim that off and then of course it will open up like that. So now we need our bits on here. So this one is going to go on this edge here so that can be flipped out I hope I'm in frame I'm going to have to jump up and have a little look and make sure on iPad mm, just about I'm trying to put you up there it's really difficult when you're sewing I come out too far you can't really see what I'm doing. I come in too close, so I shoot off camera. I do apologise and all that. But I am semi talking you through what I'm doing all the time. So even if it's off the edge of the camera for a moment, it should be pretty obvious what I'm doing. So, Oh, I've got a little knot. 
I thought I'd done so well as well. We'd done all of this stitching without a knot. I thought we were doing really well. Right, let's give ourselves another little knot. And trim that off. So now, We've got to flip out in our top bit as well and of course when that closes down it's going to close down like that so now we've got again a lovely seam down there so that one's going that way and then what did I have I had two more so I think we'll put the blue one there to flap out and then maybe this one will flap out up as well so if we're going to do another flap up, flap up we've got to make sure I'm in Eden and thread we've got to make sure that it's going to sit all right there that's interesting because then we could end up folding it down or folding it up. So we like that. So that is actually going to create us two rows of stitches here now, which is quite nice. And it's happened sort of by accident. So we put a little knot in there. And now we'll just run up here. Okay. Well, look, we've ended up with not next to not. <laughs> Straighten it out, make sure it's not ruched up. And then we'll just do a little stitch, wrap, and pull. And again, we'll cut our thread. Okay. So, we've now got the flip up in the blue, we've got this one, that one's up but it could also come down, whatever we fancy, and now I'm going to put this blue one on here, so I'm just going to put a little pin in again to hold it for me. Oops. and the other one I actually stitched from the bottom up so let's try and be a little bit consistent and we'll do that from the bottom up again okay so I'm going to try and go down this blue squares as it were I'll take that back out this is a weird fabric this one uh, that's got the scalloped bottom not quite sure what it is it was in a fabric bundle that I got from might have been Sue Coles, I can't quite remember, but a fabric bundle that I got from somewhere. Right. Pull that through. And then just finish that off with our little wrap there's the edge one two there's a dog barking in the street now and just pull our thread through let's put our needle in there so we know where it is 
and a friend that. Okay. So we have now got <coughs> our book or the base of our book. Signature, whatever it is you want to call it. So pulling all those threads out. That's there, comes down, and that's going to come over like that. Right, so, I'm sorry, you can hear lots of noise in the street. Okay, so, there we go. Doesn't look like much at the moment. It looks like lots of rough bits of material that have been very slapdashly put together. So then we'll open it up. We've got this lovely top. The top comes up. This one comes out. And this one comes out. This one comes down. We've got no ups. And then we can close that back up. And we can move that to the top. And then if we come to the middle, obviously we've got all our normal pages here. And this one's got a flip out. Yep. And then we're at the middle. And then this one's got a flip out and a flip down. And obviously I'm going to work through and I'm going to decorate each and every one of the pages. And we're going to have to, um, going to, have to find a closure method for it as well. That just comes over there like that. I think um, probably... Mm, I don't know about a closure. But yeah, we can gradually decorate every page and go through. And I just think it's going to be great fun. And that all looks a bit floppy and unformed at the moment. But once you start thinking about adding, say... Oh, heart, look. Now heart is really in it. So... If we maybe add, say this one just trying to straighten that up a bit there you go we might add that on there as a pocket that's going to add some real weight then to that piece yeah um or if we look at some papers i mean i don't even know what's in here till i start ferreting but there's all sorts i mean Okay, let's just pull this out, for example. We might want a nice garden. I mean, it's March, not June. But it's all going to start adding weight to our pages and building it up. And it's going to be about decorating the base area because obviously, again, this is supposed to be for next year. We don't want to overdo it. But we will get there. So there you go. That is the very first of the June Journal Monthly. It shows you where I'm going. And it's, you know, the base if you want to start. The other thing is you don't actually have to fold them in. You could do that, do that, do that. And then when you fold it over, that one technically becomes your new cover. And that's a back. I mean, it's whatever you want to do yeah so i hope you found some joy and inspiration there and you will join me in this grungy journal monthly for june stay safe i'll see you very soon so it's half for now mm.